Hi, this is Marcel with Intelligent Design Engineering with another video tip. And of course I'm in another crawl space because that's where most of the problems occur. Uh, the homeowner is uh, feeling some deflection. In fact, I measured it as about an inch of deflection in the floor joists. So let me turn to you here. A common repair is putting in a drop girder. And in this case, uh, you know, to help help limit that deflection, they put this drop girder in. However, there was so much, uh, these joists themselves have wood rot. And you see here, as I'm pointing out here, what's happening is that the wood itself is just crushing over top of this. As you can see, oops, <laughs> my camera wasn't on. You see, I'm just peeling this away. So even though this, and this is done poorly in itself, but it does, it is acting to support the system, but this is just crushing underneath it. In fact, that's that same joist. Let me show you something here. I bet you I can probably show you what I'm looking for. You know, uh, let me see. See, I just stuck my screwdriver right into that joist. The whole bottom side of that joist is rotted. So even though this drop girder is in there to help support the deflection, the bottom side of that joist is rotted. So it's just going to continue to crush and get that same deflection uh, symptom. So the repair to this in this case is just make sure if you're going to put a drop girder in there, uh, if there's enough remaining section to the joist, notch out underneath it so that you don't get that crushing, you get to solid, solid uh, wood. Or the better repair is obviously to sister another joist next to it so that that joist is going to be supported over the drop girder and no crushing will occur and you'll have uh, a, a solid supporting system. So Again, just another video tip, something you may want to control, you know, make sure your contractor is, is, is doing or is, is taking into consideration uh, just to give you a little bit of knowledge on that. So, all right. Thank you.